Hi, I'm Adolph Oliver and this is a video clip on 3x3 three three systems being used for word problems for applications. There's some problems you're just naturally solving that you have three things like the side of a triangle for instance and what you first do is decide what letters you're going to use to be able to indicate those sides. I might make A be the first side, B be the second, C be the third. You could use other letters too, X, Y, and Z, anything you want, but clearly label what it is so you remember and anybody looking at your work can see what you did. Okay, well, here's an example of a translation we're going to do for a problem dealing with the sides of a triangle, and we'll use this A, B, and C we just indicated up here. Here we've got information three sentences, each one of them is going to translate into an equation for us. So let's get our first uh, example of doing this. Okay, here we go. The first sentence says the second side plus the third side. Well, second side is B, third side is C. So if I write the equations down here, and let's get ourselves some room so we can do this, then again, the second side, which is B, plus the third side, which is C. So B plus C uh, minus the first side, which is A, okay, then equals 4. Now, you always want to double check these guys to make sure you've got them right. The second side, which is B, plus the third side, which is C, so B plus C, minus the first side, which is minus A, equals 4. Okay, there's our first equation from our first sentence. Now just continue on like this for the next. The next sentence says the first side minus twice the second. Well, the first side is A, minus twice the second would be minus 2B, uh, equals negative 2. Huh? Okay, now notice the third side wasn't mentioned here. Let's double check this again. The first side, here it is, A minus twice the second side, there it is, equals negative 2. Okay, so we've got it exactly the way it was indicated. Okay, here we go. The uh, last sentence here, which will give us our third equation, the first side, A plus the second side. So A plus B okay minus the third side so minus C equals 8 now as always double check this the first side which is A plus the second side so plus B minus the third side which should be minus C equals 8 okay we got that one now of course what we do is we would solve this 3 by 3 system using any of the techniques that we've previously learned and the value A, B, and C that we get would be the three sides of the triangle. Well, let's take a look at some examples where we'll solve these guys uh, all the way. Okay, here's an example that we'll solve all the way through. Uh, it says find the three angles of a triangle given this information. Well now, one of the things, whenever you hear about three angles of a triangle, you should remember that they sum to 180 degrees, and that's an implied equation that we always want to make use of. Well first, let's indicate again that we're going to say, okay, uh, let's say A equals the first angle, B equals the second angle, and C equals the third. These are all the angles, okay, of the triangle. Okay, well now, this implied equation, the three angles of a triangle, we know always sum to 180 degrees, so I can write down A plus B plus C equals 180. Now that's seldom told to you, this is just something you remember that whenever you're talking about the angles, not the sides now, the angles of a triangle, the angles always sum to 180, so we'll want to make use of this equation right here, but 
let's translate the other information we've got here uh, in the rest of these guys. So here we go. Twice the first angle, which would be 2 times A, minus the third angle, which would be minus C, okay, equals 0. Now let's double check this. Twice the first angle, 2 times A minus the third angle equals 0. Notice they didn't mention a second angle here, so that was left out. Okay, the next one. The first angle, which is A, plus the second angle, which is B, okay, minus the third angle, minus C, equals 20. Now again, double check this. The first angle A plus the second angle B minus the third angle C equals 20. Okay, we got that guy. Now, there's one more sentence here. So let's translate it. The first angle, which is A minus the twice the second angle minus 2B uh, plus the third angle plus C equals 0. Now let's check this again. The first angle, A, minus twice the second, there's minus 2B, plus the third, plus C, equals 0. Okay, there we go. Now, notice, of course, we've got three variables, but four equations. This is what is often called an overdetermined system. We're only going to use three of these, and uh, one of the ones we want to make use of before we finish for sure is our guy up here, A plus B plus C equals 180. Well, we got one gift here. Notice this. There is one equation right here, the first one we got, where the B is already missing. So if I rewrite this, it'll be 2A, I'll leave a blank space here for the B, minus C equals 0. Okay, there's our uh, first equation. Uh, rewritten for us. Now, here's what we need to do. We need then to combine a couple of these other equations to end up with uh, another equation. It just has A and C. In other words, we need to eliminate B. We want to make use of this guy right here that tells us the total number of degrees. So I'm going to write him down here. A plus B, okay, plus C, equals 180. Now, how can we get rid of the B's? Well, you see this second equation here? If I multiply it by negative 1, then uh, the B's would eliminate. So, let's take this equation right here and multiply everybody in it by negative 1. And what's that's going to do is just change all the signs. So, I'm going to have minus A minus B plus C equals negative 20. Now make sure that we multiplied everybody by negative 1, which changes their sign. Plus A became negative A, plus B negative B, minus C became plus C, and plus 20 became negative 20. Okay, there we go. So now we've got two equations that when we combine them, we're going to eliminate the B's, and we can combine it with this guy that we had to begin with up here. Okay, the B's go out. Oh, look at this. We get an extra gift. The A's also go out. This doesn't happen too often that you get two of them uh, going out at once like this, but look at what we have left here. Add this together. I got 2C, 180 minus 20 is 160. Well, divide both sides by 2 here, and you get C equal to 80. So we got a little gift here. We got this first guy real quick. Now, notice this. Since we know that C equals 180, or excuse me, C equals 80, we can turn around and plug it into this first equation that we had up here and solve for A. So this is a nice problem here. Let's see, I've got 2A minus the value of C, which is 80, equals 0. Well, jump the minus 80 over to the other side, and we've got 2a equals positive 80, 
divide both sides by 2 and we get a equals 40. Okay, well we're making good progress on this problem. Now notice we know two of the three variables. You know who we can go to to get the last guy? How about our implied guy up here, a plus b plus c equals 180. Okay, let's grab him once more. Bring him on down here. So here he comes. We've got a plus b plus c equals 180. Now, let's put in these two values that we already know. We know a is 40. Okay, so let's put that in here. We're solving for b, so we leave that as b. We know c is 80. So plus 80, there it is, equals 180. Well, combine these two numbers, and I get 120, okay, plus B equals 180. Okay, well now, uh, let's see, move the 120 over here is negative 120, and looks like I've got uh, my answer for B right here. Uh, B is going to equal, uh, what's this going to be, 60. There we go. So uh, this one kind of worked out real nice for us. Uh, remember that since it was dealing with the angles of a triangle, we knew that this equation here holds, add the three angles up, and that equals 180 degrees. And of course, we had to decide what letters we were using to begin with. Here they are. Well, OK. So here's our solution. So what we can indicate then and we ought to say, okay, in the order we've got, the first angle was 40. Now, these are in degrees, so there's degree sign. Okay. Second angle, B, was 60 degrees. And the third angle, C, was 80 degrees. Okay. Notice now that these guys all add up to 180 like they should for a tri any triangle. But uh, we know now what the three angles are that match the information that we got in our particular problem here. So here we go, one example of how uh, three by three can be done. Okay, let's look at one more example of a three by three system. Here we're asked how many yellow, blue, and green shirts were sold. Okay, this could be shirts that were sold in a store for a day, for instance. <coughs> well, good letters to use here, just the first letters of the colors. Why don't we use Y for yellow, B for blue, and G for green. And that'll allow us to keep track of who we're talking about. Remember, you can pick any letters you want, so pick things that help you out. Well, again, we've got our three uh, sentences here. And we want to translate each one of these into an equation. So here we go. Uh, the first sentence, yellow minus blue. Okay, yellow minus blue plus green. Okay, equals negative four. Now once again, double check this. Uh, yellow minus blue plus green equals negative four. Okay, we got that one. Let's move on to the next guy. Twice the yellow, two times y, plus twice the blue, two b, minus five times the green equals uh, negative six. Okay, now again, double check this. Twice the yellow, plus twice the blue, minus Five times the green equals negative six. Looks like we got that one. Okay, the last guy down here. Two blue. Okay, here we go. So we have two B minus Y minus yellow minus three green. Okay, equals two. Now once again, double check this to make sure we're good. 2 blue minus yellow minus 3 green equals 2. 
Now, one thing I'm going to do here, we always want to have these equations lined up so that we have the same variables on top of each other. And notice this third guy down here is mixed up a bit. So what I'm going to do is realign him right here, this guy, straighten him out. Uh, negative y, I'm going to put first, and then the plus 2b. Okay, here we go, plus 2b, and then the uh, minus 3g equals 2. Now, uh, let's make sure I copied this right. Plus 2b minus 3g equals 2. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross this out so I don't go back and look at it by a mistake. And what I've got now here are these three equations all nice and lined up. Yellows, blues, and greens. Okay, well, uh, it would be fairly easy to eliminate either the blues or the yellows. And uh, I'm going to pick on the yellows, so uh, you could do the blues if you wanted. The greens would be a bit more work. So now, here we go. Uh, the LCM is 2 here, so for instance, this is 2y. If I combine it with this equation up here, I'll have to make this negative 2y. So let me write down first, and I'll do it over here, this first guy. 2y plus 2b minus 5g equals negative 6. Okay, here we go. So there it is for us, all lined up. Now, this next one here, what I'm going to do, I need to change it. And I could go either one. Let's say I do this bottom guy first. Uh, if it's negative y, then I have to multiply it by 2. Now you got to be careful here. 2 times negative y is negative 2y. Two, 2 times plus 2b is plus 4b. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6g and uh, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, as always, double check any of these guys that you do. I'm multiplying everybody in this equation here by 2. So I've got negative 2y plus 4b minus 6g equals 4. Okay, well notice what happens here. The y's go out as we designed it. What do we got here? A total of 6b. Okay, minus 11g equals negative 6 plus 4. I think it's negative 2. Hmm? So again, let's double check this. The y's go out. We've got a total of 6b, a total of negative 11g, and negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Okay, here's one of the 2 by 2 equations we're going to use. Now, for the other one, I'm going to take this 2 guy again right here, just right on the way he is. So I've got 2y, okay, plus 2b minus 5g equals negative 6. Now I could take this first guy up here and write him down. And what I'm going to want to do, of course, is eliminate my y's. Remember, I chose to eliminate y's. You could eliminate b's if you wanted. Uh, and if we don't make any mistakes, we'll all get the same answer here. Well, anyway, uh, this is plus 2y, so that means I've got to multiply everybody in this equation up here by negative 2. Well, let's do it. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Okay, negative 2 times negative b. Well, a minus and minus is plus, so it's going to be plus 2b. And then minus g, well, that'll be minus 2g. And then negative 2 times negative 4 will be positive 8. I'll put a plus to rub it in. Now, let's double check this. Plus 1y times negative 2 is negative 2y. Minus 1b times negative 2 will be plus 2b plus g 
times negative 2 is minus 2g and negative times negative is positive and 4 times 2 is 8 so it looks like we got that one correct okay the y's go out what have I got here 4b minus 7g equals looks like it's 2 so again 4b minus 7g positive 8 minus 6 is 2 okay here's the second equation that we have for this now we've got to eliminate either B or G between this uh, the LCM for the G's is like 77 that's big the LCM for the B's the first uh, multiple that both the 6 and 4 will hit is uh, gonna be 12 so that's a lot easier to work with so let's do that I'll make this guy here positive 12 okay so let's work on him first so I'll have to multiply him by 2 2 times 6 is 12 B my 2 times negative 11 is negative 22 G and that's going to equal 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 okay so there we have that value okay so now the other equation here I've got to make it uh, since this is plus 12 this will have to be negative 12 so what do we multiply 4 by to make it negative 12 how about negative 3 so here we go 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 B okay negative 7 times negative 3 will be positive 21 G and uh, then lastly negative 3 times positive 2 negative 6 now let's double check that again 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 okay well the B's go out let's see what we're left with uh, uh, looks like negative 1G we had negative 22 plus 21 equals negative 10. Well, of course, divide both sides by negative 1, and uh, we end up getting g equals positive 10. Okay, there we go. There's our first value. Now we can plug it into either one of the 2x2 uh, two two equations. Let's do this guy right here. So uh, I'll get the B value here. 4 times B minus 7 times the value we just got for G, which is 10, equals 2. Okay, so 4B, here we go, minus 70 equals 2. Hmm? Well, the minus 70 goes over is plus 70. So I've got 4B equals, uh, looks like it's 72. Hmm? Okay, well now let's go and divide each by 4, because we want to find out what B equals. And we're going to end up with B equal, well let's see, 4 goes into 7 once, 32, I think it's uh, 18, let's double check this. What's 4 times 18? 4 times 8 is 32. Carry the 3. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3 is 72. Looks good. Okay, there's the B. Now, all we have to do is get our last one, the yellows. And I'm going to go back up. Looks like uh, the easiest equation to take with the smallest numbers is this first guy up here. So let's get him and bring him all the way down here. Here he comes. See, so we can see this. I'm going to have yellow. Okay, I'm just going to write them all the way out here. Yellow minus B plus G equals negative 4. Well, let's plug in the values that we have here. Okay, we're solving for yellow, so we leave that in. Minus B is minus 18, plus G is plus 10, equals negative 4. 
Okay. Well, let's see. This is y, and combining the numbers, negative 18 and plus 10 is negative 8. Okay, and it equals to minus 4. Jump this over as positive 8. There it goes. Okay. And uh, what do we end up with here? We end up with y equals, looks like positive 4. So there we go. We've got our solution then for how many of all of these shirts we've got. The uh, system solution, if we wrote it down, since we mentioned the yellow guys first, I'd say 4. We mentioned the blue second, 18. And the uh, C last would be 10. So it could be written like this, and this, of course, would be shirts and all of these guys. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, again, a three by three system. And how did we know this was three by three? Well, they were asking us to find three things. How many yellow, blue, and green shirts were sold? So we need three variables. That means we need three good equations. So we went through and translated those, and after that we just used some of our standard methods of solving a 3 by 3 system and we were able to work our way all the way down to where we found out how many of each shirt were sold.